Welcome to another episode of the Subnautica series. Oh, and I think the sun's coming up. That looks amazing. I love this big old planet. Not that the way it moves in the sky makes any sense, nor do the clouds, but that's fine. Ah, uh, look at it. What a beautiful day, and we've got the glowing fish below us. But, let's go inside. I kind of want to get a habitat builder built. I want to get the what is this called i think it's like the pathfinder bath pathfinder tool which is actually very easy i just need to empty out my inventory for that but the habitat builder wiring kit computer chip and battery so wiring that takes copper i think maybe nope that's the two silver uh i was probably in the middle of doing something last episode but Lord, if I can remember what it was. Alright, so let's see if we have any silver over here. I am in a tube. Alright, there we go. So what do we got in here? I cannot wait to have lockers where I can organize things so I don't have to check everything. So everything will be where it belongs and it'll be lovely. Uh, new silver. Next thing on the silver, I guess. Um... Oh, that's right. That's a distress call. We could see if we can get to that. What's the sea moth doing over there? Oh, we were probably getting food. That's probably what it was. Look at all those fish. That's amazing. Alright, so let's get this turned off. Come over here. Park it. Let's see. What's our inventory like? Ah, not enough room. Okay. Let's see, I don't think I noticed any of these being having any room. The problem with these things is you can't, I don't think, deconstruct them. And they, like, I don't use them once I have a base, you know? <sighs> I know I was making these for something, but I don't know what, and it's killing me. So, was that all I wanted to do? I'm trying to get better at, like, making a note of the things I want to do. Fortunately, I didn't do it during uh, editing, so I don't know what I was saying last episode about what I wanted, but <laughs> we'll figure it out as we go, as this game tends to do. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so we do have enough to go get those samples so that we can get the Pathfinder. There it is. So I can show up you guys how that works. I want to find that, um, here let me, because I have a tendency to go the wrong way from here. Where's the ship? There it is. Okay. Um, I want to get the habitat builder because I'd really like to build like just a scanner. Whoa! Did you see that? I don't know where that guy went, but that was a fart button. He just got like thrown. Oh, there he is. Are you feeling a little better? You all could stop interrupting me. Because I am trying to say something. Uh... Oh, I want to build the scanner room so that I can find a good place to find the thermal vent because I want that to be our main source of energy. Three, four, five. There we go. Um, and I don't want to just swim around in circles looking for it, and you can actually use the scanner room to find that, so I just want to plop one down, see if I can find a good thermal vent, take it apart, and build close to it. So that's why I want to get some habitat building. I actually don't even know if I have all of the parts for the scanner room. I imagine I do. I'm real good at finding things I don't actually need at the moment. <laughs> uh, Cyclops stuff, scanner room. We need one more part. I'll have to see where that's at so I can go get it. So we can find a new place for the base because I really, really want to get started on that so that I can start stocking up and get organized and all of that. I gotta stop running myself over. It's ridiculous. All right. Nope. Sand the Pathfinder tool. So this is really cool. I'll show you guys. So you hop out on hout like so. So what you do is put it on your hot bar to begin with. Uh, let's stick it on. Five. There we go. So there it is. Hello, little guy. So what you do is you place, let's say we want the life pod 
to be our marker. So we place here. So this is the first node. This is like where where we want to go. And so say we're down in here and as we're going we place one and it'll point to where the other one is. So we can keep going like so and then we'll go we'll place one right here and we keep swimming like so and now you can see <laughs> I knew he was there I knew it did you destroy my thing no I just know there's always some down well you're lost how'd you get down in here silly guy oh there's this Nothing in it. So now you can see it's pointing. Okay, so the last one's over here, and I can use this to make sure I can navigate back to air, usually. Um, you can't pick these up, I don't believe. They just stay there. That You have... Um, I don't know if there's like a limit to how many you have, but you hit F, and that'll get rid of all of the ones you've placed. I don't know if there's like, you know, 10 or something like that. But it does have power, so that's something you have to keep in mind. But that's really cool. Um, I think it'd be really useful when I'm trying to go through like a caving system, but I think it'll also be super useful when it comes to the wrecks. Navigating those. Get some air. So that's super exciting. So I think my next plan of attack- ooh, might be batteries, I don't know yet. But I want to find out where I can get that scanner room part so that I can get that scanned up. So I will see you guys when I get to it. Hey, we found ourselves a vending machine. So let's get that scanned up. I'm kind of in the grassy plateaus right now. Uh, I went around the wreck over there. You can barely see it. I don't know that you guys can see it, but... There's the outline of the wreck that we went through last time, the bioreactor fragment, which we have already. I double checked because I'm paranoid now. Um, oh, hi, Reefies! We'll have to go and check those guys out in a second. Um, see if we can maybe see anything on their backs. So just some quartz. Yep, so it looks like that's all we can find here. I don't know if you're after me or what. Move along, good sir. Alright, let's. I said move along. And I meant it. I'm kind of heading out towards that, um, that guy just to kind of see where it's at because we're in the area sort of. So, all right. So this guy's got a lot of brain coral, mean dudes. Let's see what else we got up here. Anything cool? Not that I can see that something? No, I think that's just some kind of um, girl thing. Ooh, the wreck down there. Check out. I think those ones are little babies. Oh, they're so little and cute. All right, so what else do we got over here? Hey there, buddy. Some really cool looking plants. This one has less of the mean spiky plants, that's for sure. It's not one over there hidden in the grass, though. Sneaky hidden guy. I like these, um, cradle plants. They look like they could be a, like a candle or something. I like the look of it. Oh, look how little! He doesn't have any kind of reef on him. He's too small and too new to the ocean. That means to me these guys are so old. I wonder if you can get anything besides copper out of the- Ooh! I'm so sorry! I wonder if you can get anything besides copper out of these, um... What are they? Barnacles? Is that what they're called? Let's get over here and see. Because I've only ever gotten the one thing out of them, and that's copper. I'm still impressed that somehow they get copper on their back in the first place. Let's go ahead and get over back into our ship. There we go. Let me in. Thank you. Welcome aboard, Captain. Nothing there. We checked out that guy. This is a little baby. So we did see a wreck in the distance, I thought. It's down. Rip. There it is. Let's go ahead and check that out. Maybe it will have what we're looking for. Though it's about to get dark, I feel. Let's see if we can see inside that box. If there's anything in there. Nope. 
That's just wreckage. What else have we got over here? Maybe that's something. Let's see. What are you? Sea moth. I'm in the sea moth. I don't need another one. I love this biome because I feel safe here. I know what's in it. <laughs> it makes me feel much better. That's also a sea moth fragment. Alright, so let's go ahead and see if there's anything in here. I don't think this door opens, actually. Where is the entrance? Oh, we have to go through the- Ah! <laughs> My cat just scared the shit out of me. <sighs> oh, jerk. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. We've gotten these chairs already. Ooh, is there anything in here? No, no signal, but we can open this. Which will be good. Ooh, and we have our laser cutter so we can get that guy. Vehicle bay. Do we have that? That's not the same as- oh, it must be. Uh, we have the battery charger. No base for it though. Propulsion cannon. Got it. Two. Alright. Alright, got myself some air. I was lasering those doors for so long it is now night. Oh, that's a fish. I thought something was falling off the roof back. I was real hopeful it was an egg. I will find one of those this season. Alright, so we've got... Oh, that one just goes outside. I went ahead and just got both the doors taken care of while I was going at it. Get away from me. I swear to god, if this other door also leads outside, I'm gonna be pretty disappointed. Oh, good. It doesn't. So I don't think. So let's go back inside and through here. It looks like something's going on. Lightweight, high capacity tank. <laughs> nice. We'll need to get the modification station up for that. And we need a base for that. Uh, no, I, it's funny, the modification station was right there and I was talking about it. Of course it's water. Why would these packages have anything but water in them? It's funny because uh, I was actually really needing some a minute ago. But I have plenty on me. So that was good. Well, I'm going to go back to my search of the scanner room bar parts. I might see if we can get into that guy. We won't be able to take the sea moth there. It is a hundred meters below what the sea moth can handle. But for some reason, I can probably handle it on my own. So we'll see what we can do about that. Alright, so here we are in the sparse reef, which, not a fan. It looks like something or somewhere that the Reaper Leviathan should be in, but I'm pretty positive it doesn't actually come down into this area. So, fingers crossed that we don't find one of those on our way. Vehicle upgrade console, filled in the moon pool. Ooh, that's super important. Glad we found that. What else we got? Thermal plant. I suppose that's probably a good thing to have if we're looking to use it, the thermal energy, so we'll need one or more of those. We found this on the way to that life pot over there. Still don't know if I'm going to be able to get down into that area. We'll have to see. So what else can we scan over here? Don't like that we're running out of battery on this sea glide. It is my escape mechanism. Yeah. Ooh, there's one of the vents. We'll have to go down and look at that and give it a good scan. And there's some eyeball stocks. So we actually need some of those. Well, that is a tiny chair. It's an office chair. So we'll definitely need an office while we're living here alone. There's another floodlight, which we've got. Yes. Um, what else do we got over here? Oh, lockers that we don't need. Bench that we don't need. Ooh, is this another thermal? Yes. Good. So now we'll have all of the thermal plant fragments that we need. Good. Is there anything down? Wow, well, that's deep. What's even down there? Besides eye stalks and lots of crystal. I'm not gonna complain about that. All right. Thirty seconds. Oh, there it is. I can't bring the sea moth any closer because it's too deep. I already Welcome gave it some captain. damage. Let's keep it up a little bit. Bring it over at least. Get off the light. Ooh. No, no, no. There we go. So fussy. That's no good. Alright, so let's get in here. 
and get some water, obviously. I'd really like a um, food or the nutrient bars at this point. Get a little low. No signal. Well, I'm not surprised. A door. All right. I'm going to get that laser up and see if it leads anywhere real quick. Oh god. <laughs> it just dropped that door on me. Alright, so what have we got in here? We've got the other light stick fragment. Don't know what we'd use a light stick for. Or if that's something we- ooh, power cell charger. Don't know if the light stick's something we would use ourselves or drop, or if it's something you build for your base. Ooh, there's- come on- yes! Nutrient bar. We also really need those power cell chargers. That's what charges um, like the sea moth and the sacklops once we have them. The bigger machines. Alright, so we got that. Nothing there. Wow, there's a lot of crates in this one. And they all have food in it! I'm so glad I asked the game for it and it listened. And finally we have reinforced dive suit. Uh, gives you protection from heavy uh, extreme temperatures and stuff. Oh lord. I thought that was the door we came in. Oh. No? Okay, there it is. That way. That way. We've got this. We won't die, I promise. Yes. It was close though. <laughs> So let's have ourselves a dense brick of food from the Aurora and have ourselves some water. Look at this! We've got ourselves so under control. And we've got some stuff on us that I probably should have gotten rid of before leaving, but you know, that takes thinking ahead of time. Alright, so this is the room we were just in. It's right here. I don't know that I saw anything else in there, but I will double check. don't want to miss something important when I was already here, you know? So we've got that, the two, three crates. There's nothing in this guy. I do like to check to see if there's like a upgrade module for something in them, but no, there's not. Ooh, we went right through that door. I don't know if you saw that. Sweet, so we've gotten a lot of good stuff scanned today. Um, let's go over here to this other wreck. This is also the thermal plant. Ooh, this is a torpedo arm fragment for the prawn suit, which we still don't have. We should probably bring sea moth over here. I thought that was a K for a second. I was going to be real creeped out. That was not going to be fun. It's really weird that these um, are here, right? Like, I, I, the only time I ever see that shape is like in caves where something drips down and builds up. So it seems really weird that it would be building up in the middle of the ocean. But, you know, I'm, I'm no expert. It might be something that naturally happens in the ocean. Ooh, we got one fragment of the moon pool. Ooh, and another! Look, we've got ourselves a moon pool too. Man, we are rocking this. I'm so glad we came out here. Alright, so we've got that bench. That's not stuff we can get. Lots of salt over here, which is real nice. I'm going to check this little crate over here. I think it's probably one of the closed ones. Yeah, all right. Uh, let's go ahead and get oxygen and move the sea moth over to that third bit of a wreck. This place is really beat up. Like, there's a lot of pieces over here for some reason. Oh, probably because we're... Let's go ahead and head up and see where we are in relation to the island. Might take us a minute to get up though. <laughs> we're pretty far down, which is a little unnerving, isn't it? When you're just going and going and going and the surface just isn't appearing. Ready for launch. Whee! Fortunately I can't change- there we go. The direction of the sea moth when we're in the air. So right there is the island. So it would make sense that there's a lot of pieces here. So now we're just gonna go down and down and down. What are these little black dots I wonder? I guess we'll see here in a minute because we're getting closer to them. We'll have to keep an eye on our depth. Those are way down there. What is that? Oh, those are parts of that vent. Huh. I wonder when they, why they're loading that way. It's very odd. We've checked out that bit. Gotten that over there. Now we want to check out this. Which we can bring the sea moth quite a bit closer to. So it's not as deep as the rest. There we go. So it looks like we're gonna have to go down into this. God, I hate navigating. Lies! Good. I didn't want to navigate it. They're a pain in the butt to navigate through the vents. Oh, alright. I'll get this all lasered up. And we are through. What do I got to scan in here? Ooh. 
Cyclops fire suppression system. That's good. Now the Cyclops can get fires inside of it. You do want to have a way to stop it. I think it only takes two fragments for... But yeah, good. So we have that guy covered. Hmm. Pick that up. Pick that up. Are they useful? Nope. Do I want them? Yep. And non-functioning thing. I like that they specifically label it as like being useless. So people aren't like, how do I use this thing? You don't. It's just to have. Huh. Alright, so there's not- ooh. I don't know how I wasn't seeing that crate. For whatever reason. Okay. Supply crates. I'd really like some batteries. Alright, let's see if the next one has a battery in it. Because that would be amazing. <laughs> and I noticed this torpedo arm over here. So we'll get that scanned up. Look at all these weird little cracks in the ground that just lead into the nothingness. Super not a fan of it. Alright, let's go ahead and check out this thing. With a light on. There we go. Ooh, we don't have this. Ruby. Let's give it a scan before we pick it up. Alright, so we've got a good scan of the ruby. Look at this, you guys. Let's give it a scan. If I can remember where it is on my keys. So it looks like it's sucking in on this side and shooting out fish. Ooh, look! A clean pe peeper! With the enzymes coming out of it. Yes! Thank you, healthy little peeper. I think it also takes in peepers. How it chooses if it's just a peeper? No idea. But it does. Look at these creepy little eyeballs looking at you. Let's take a sample of that because we're gonna need it. <gasps> Inventory full. We also need this thing. Alright, let's go. Ooh, there's another clean peeper. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Oh, inventory full. Thinking. Is there anything in this? Nope. Teaser? Anything in this? Nope. <gasps> I'll come back for that too. Sea moth. Oh my god, we left it so far away. Alright, let's bring it as close as we can get it so we can see. I wish we had an inventory on the sea moth already, but we don't. Let's get some light on down in there for ourselves. Warning. Yep, 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 yep. Working on it. There, you complainer. Is there anything we can get rid of in the inventory that I don't care about? Ooh. Drop that one, because we actually have that one. And let's drop the titanium. These give 70. The water gives 30, so we'll drink that. There we go. Good. Get more oxygen. And then head down in. And see what we can get. So I don't want the flying egg. I want the one that's on the ground. Because they may look the same, but I'm looking for one that is like four times the size. That's not it. Alright, we'll put it back. Because the reef back egg is what I want. More than any other egg. We need these aerogel guys too. Gel sacks. We're making aerogel. That's in a bit. But there's no problem with having some in the advanced. Advanced? <laughs> just throwing letters on there just willy nilly because I can, I guess. You too big? You are too small. Put you back. Let's pick up a ruby because we can. So we got that guy scanned. Was there anything else that we really wanted to pick up while we were here? Did we get that eye stock? Poo poo. Um, we'll drop the salt. Come down and get this. Oh, this one's surrounded by mean things. There's a lot of these eggs over here. Please don't hit me. Don't, please don't hit me. No, don't want it. Stay away from me. Ah, switch. Get out. Get it off. Little jerk. Yes, okay, we got an ice stock seed. Good. Ooh, that guy's real infected. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Someday he'll find my sea glide. It would be fun to come and explore that area a bit more. Get up in here. Welcome and we'll see what else we can see. Alright, so we're heading down all the way to the life pod. It's way down here. We've got an ultra high capacity tank. Good. Is there already something? No. Ooh, a PDA. Grab that guy. 
Life bot, Keenan. All right, we'll check that out in a bit. Pick up that. Good. Is there anything else in here besides PDAs and that? Doesn't look like it. All right, so we got that guy taken care of. Is there anything else down here while I'm while I'm here? I don't really have space for anything. I don't think I can pick up one thing if I see something I really want. Um, I don't like the sounds. So looking for the silver. Hello there, I. I think those are the I. I's. So there's lots of quartz down here. I've got the ship up here lighting the way because it's as deep as it goes. Well, we found a whole lot, but not what I wanted <laughs> this episode, which is fine. We'll get it next time, I think. I might even try to find it off camera and see what we can do with that. Because I really want that scanner. Oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> Did a lot of damage, too. <laughs> Hi there. Roof to the big old cave. Ow. Ooh, that's a lot of quartz. All right. So I think that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.